Sa video na ito, ipag-aaralan naman natin kung paano natin i-represent ang mga sets. So today, you'll be able to learn to describe and represent sets using the roster or the listing method and the rule method or the set builder. Isa sa pag-describe ng set ay through roster or listing method. It is identifying the elements, making a list, and writing them within the curly brackets. Ito yung kanyang symbol, separated by a comma. So, simply na, nililista lamang natin ang lahat ng elements. Then, nilalagay natin sa loob ng curly brackets o braces, pinaghihiwalay sila ng mga kama. Let us set the following example. Set S is the set of all subjects of grade 7. So, let us name our set as set S. Always remember sa pag-name ng set, use capital letter. Then, let us now list down or identify lahat ng subjects ng grade 7. And these are English, Filipino, Math, Science, ESP, RTLE, THE, and then MAPE. Separated by a comma, enclosed in curly brackets. Set C is the set of distinct letters of the word humility. So let us name our set as set C is equal to H U M I L T Y. Kung mapapansin mo, isang beses lang natin inilista si letter I dito sa set na ito. Kahit pa Dalawang beses siyang nag-appear sa word na humility. Bakit? Because in writing the elements of a set, we are going to write down the elements only once. No repeating of elements. Set N is the set of even numbers from 1 to 10. So let us name our set as set N. Then the elements are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. We started the listing ng element mula kay 2 dahil ang sabi ay even numbers from 1. 1 is an odd number. That's why nagsimula tayo sa paglista mula kay 2. Set of natural numbers greater than 1. So this set is an infinite set. So infinite set, when we say infinite set, ay hindi natin kayang ilista ang lahat ng elements because greater than 1, there are lots of numbers. So, hindi natin ma-identify kung hanggang saan yung numbers. And that's why it is an infinite set. So, if we're going to describe this set, then let us name our set as set N is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hindi kasama si 1 dahil ang sabi dito ay greater than 1. So, if we're going to start kay 2. Then, as you can see, hindi na natin isinulat pa yung mga sumunod na number cases. We just use the three dots or the ellipses, which indicates a continuous counting of numbers. So, this is how we represent uh, the set using the roster or the listing method. Another way of describing a set is through rule method or the set builder method. Sa rule method or the set builder method ay describe lang natin ang elements ng set. Hindi natin kailangan na ilista ang lahat ng elements o isulat kung anong mga elements na yun. describe lang natin ano ba yung category ng mga elements na yun. Let us have the following example. Set D is equal to Tuesday and Thursday. So, paano natin i-describe itong mga days na ito? So, we can describe it as the days of the week that starts with letter T. Then, how are we now going to describe this set? Using the rule method or the set builder method, we have D is equal to the set of all X such that X is a day of the week that starts with T. As you can see, hindi natin nilista yung mga elements. Dinescribe lang natin ano bang klaseng elements ang Tuesday at Thursday. So, sila ay yung days of the week that starts with letter T. In writing, uh, in describing the set using the set builder, we're going to write it, the set of all X, 
Itong unang x na to, the set of all x, then the slash, search that, then x, so this referring to the element. Ano yung element na to na i-describe? So, we have the Tuesday and the Thursday. Set V is equal to A, E, I, O, U. How are we going to describe the elements of this set? So, we can describe it as the vowels of the English alphabet. So, if we're going to describe or write down um, the set using the rule method or the set builder, so we can describe it as or represent the set as V is equal to the set of all x such that x is a vowel of the English alphabet.